Hi everybody, my name is Dion. Welcome to my channel, Fleur de Lee Living. I'm so excited that you found my channel. Today we're going to be pruning ornamental purple fountain grass. <clears throat> purple fountain grass is, is native to Africa and Southeast Asia. Um, it's a beautiful um, plant that gives you fall and winter interest, which is why I bought it. Uh, it gets burgundy leaves. It also gets um, beige plumes that turn burgundy as it matures. So it's a really good looking plant um, for your garden that gives you fall and winter interest. Um, it's hardy down to 20 degrees. So it's pretty cold resistant. Um, especially if you protect it adequately, you can bring it indoors if you're in one of those zones that gets snow. But it will come back for you um, in the spring if you prune it, you can cut it back within four inches of the base. So it's a very easy plant to take care of. Um, you, if you keep it watered consistently, um, as far as light is concerned, it takes full sun um, to part shade. It takes, um, you can do fertilizer in the summer months. And so in the late winter, early spring, you can cut your fountain grass back and it will reflush for you. So in my zone, 9B, Northern California, it is a perennial. So today, as you can see, um, we're going to cut it back. I've already put a bungee cord on it to hold the grass, which makes it easier to cut. And I'm going to take my loppers and just cut it. And there you go. So I have four of these. I love these plants. I'm just going to remove some of this foliage, this dead stuff, make it look nice and neat. And then I will probably take it out of this container because I grew it in this container this year just to see if it will survive um, for me uh, due to my lighting, um, different lighting areas on my patio. But it did really well. It was great. Um, it blows in the wind, which is another um, visual interest. So I have two of these that I've done already. Um, I could just take the bungee card off, throw that on my tarp, clean up some of this mess, and we can move on to the next one. This one is a little bigger. Um, I'm going to put the bungee cord on this one. Hopefully I could cut it in one one uh, cut but it doesn't matter. Let's see. This is a good plant if you're concerned about water, like we are in California. We're very concerned about water conservation in California because we've been in a drought for decades. So as you can see, really simple. Bungee cord, you can use string, you can hold it with your hand. Um, according to this, it says, I'm a water-wise plant. So it goes to a mature size. This tag says four to five feet high, four to five feet wide. Um, but because I left it in this container and then I'm going to put it in another container, I won't get that height. And plus my garden is small, so I don't want it to grow that big. But um, spring and summer fertilization again. So it is a great plant. Is, um, like I said, it gives you a lot of, it will fill up a lot of empty space in your, in your landscape um, because it does get so big. But it's also for good for small spaces like mine. So let's see. We have one more. One more. Here we go. Bungee cord. I guess it's also useful if you have a partner that can help you hold the plant but if you're doing this by yourself sometimes gardening is a one person job there we go so that just a little muscle and we're done and that is how you prune a um, purple ornamental fountain grass Thank you guys for joining me. See you in the next video.